Ignore my mouth breathing. I have allergies. So here I'm using some dry moss that I had left over, but I'm dipping it into some water so that it can moisten up and I'm putting it all at the whole bottom of the enclosure. This is what you want to really spray when you're spraying your enclosure. You want to make sure that the moss gets moist again to retain the moisture in the enclosure. Sorry for the people who hate the word moist. <laughs> I didn't film this part, but just so people know, um, I have hydro balls at the bottom, which somebody in the comments of my last video of my Crusty Gecko did say that you have to rinse these out. Now I know. I used to do that before, but I kind of forgot. Oh then I have a screen lining to separate the substrate and the hydro balls, and then on top I have the moss. I'm going to finally pick Toothless up. He's been just hanging around while I make his enclosure. I think he gets the drill he's been through this before don't want to stress him out ah but let's see if you can hear him perch ah. the walls are kind of sticky right now I mean, slippery because I just cleaned them, but he's kind of stressed out. I'll see if I can show him later. You can barely see at the end there, but his tail got all like curved and I could tell that he was really stressed out because I was trying to move him from that spot because I wanted to put a leaf there or like a leaf little sticky thing. And he got really pissed at me, and I think he even made, like, a eek noise. And so I got really scared that he was going to drop his tail, and I got, like, really anxious. And so um, I stopped working for a good while just to let him adjust to the changes. Because if you change up um, a Crested Gecko's enclosure a lot, they can get really overwhelmed and stressed out. And, like, me trying to move him at that point really scared him, so... I stopped for a bit, I closed his cage and let him just relax, and once his tail went down a little bit, um, I worked a little bit. I, I actually think I, I needed to put a stick there, right between where he was, and it didn't work out, but it's fine. I ended up figuring it out. I just wanted to show the setup. I worked, I think, a little bit last night and some right now, because... He got very overwhelmed with the whole change and everything, and he was, like, flailing his tail at me, which is not a good thing. I got really scared that he was going to drop his tail, so I went to sleep, and then I'm working on it now. He's sleeping. I know it doesn't look like it, but he's been in that same position for a while, and I'm, like, trying not to be loud while I'm working and putting all the... I can't... I don't like how this stick is. I... I don't know. I've been- I pulled it out and put it in, like, many, many times, and I don't know how he hasn't gotten pissed at me, but he is sleeping. Um, so this is a temporary food bowl. It's on the ground. It was supposed to, like, you know, stick onto the wall, but it didn't work. I don't know. The suction was very confusing, so I just have it on the floor for now, but I think I'm gonna- buy him um a one that sticks kind of i don't know exactly where i'm gonna put it but i'll figure it out and then back there is the tin that i was talking about that i'm gonna put the crickets in with the what do you call it the calcium 
but I think it looks pretty cool right now. It looks pretty professional. Oh, he is not sleeping right now, actually. He's moving, so this is very strange because he hates being on camera. I don't know why, but every time I pull out my camera, he never moves. So this is strange and it's during the day so i obviously did disturb him somehow but he seems to be exploring it's kind of what he does when i set up his cage he spends some time exploring the new setup which is basically in the same spot that it was before but i did like some little vines wrapped around and stuff so yeah i'm gonna go put his crickets in the tin um, and see if he wants to eat right now. It's during the day, so it's, like, not his eating time. But I don't know. I don't think he can pass on some crickets. He loves crickets. So I'll put it in his little tin right now. So I said I would answer some YouTube comments, so I'm going to answer them right now. I remember seeing this question by Little Life Moment of what names, neutral names, that I can suggest for Crested Gecko. And that's a good question because I do have a list of names for reptiles. Let me go. Um, papaya, Rico, Malibu, Dino, Gator, Martian, Gus, Peach, Toothless, Loki, Squirt, Guppy, Rango, Rudy, Gusher, and Sherbert. Um, that is literally all the names that I have on here. I give it to you now. I give you the ideas if you ever want to use those names. And they're not crazy names like Miss... What's her name? Nara Smith. Okay? They're they're not crazy. They're good, realistic names for a reptile. Okay. Also, very overwhelmed by the good comment. Like, you know, the majority of all the comments are positive of my setup with Toothless's enclosure. I was scared that people would like nitpick on certain little things because I don't know why. I feel like the pet community and just the reptile community is kind of like always ready to pounce on something you did wrong um and i was scared that people would nitpick uh all the things that i did wrong um because i do watch videos of like people who do these elaborate enclosures and i get scared that like mine is literally nothing like that but i'm being too hard on myself and people really like the enclosure setup i got really nice comments about how they're going to use this as a reference for their enclosure which is actually so I'm I'm honored for you guys to use my video um, as a way to set up your enclosure because I remember when I was looking for videos to set up for my Crested Gecko, all of them really seemed uh, really crazy. Like they had the mister, they had a uh, fog machine in there and it would be timed. I'm like, I, I could eventually do that, but I feel like that is too hard for me to do right now. Um, and the whole like, false back thing um theirs always look better than mine i really did my best i watch a lot of separate design his videos are so fun to watch um and i kind of use some of his tips to get into it but he it like he decks it out like he's so professional in what he does so i couldn't even get anywhere close to doing it like him so i just did it at a you know level that was manageable for me and not too hard because i don't have all the tools i don't have all and it's expensive you know doing these cage enclosure things are not cheap um just the enclosure itself is around 100 to 200 dollars maybe even 300 depending on the size um so very grateful for your nice comments thank you so much
That was all the comments. Um, all the other comments were just saying that they liked the enclosure and I just wanted to answer the names for the Crested Gecko because I thought, you know, people could use that if they're thinking of getting a Crested Gecko. And then somebody said that uh, they really liked my idea of the cricket trap. Okay. That will be the end of the video because the gardeners just came and it's gonna be really loud and annoying. Um, so thank you for all the nice comments, like I said before. Um, I will do updates on Toothless, but I feel like I've, you know, got a basis of his cage now. So I need to get back to doing vlogs and stuff like that. I've been kind of off of YouTube which I miss it and I really want to make more videos and just casual videos like I used to make because I kind of started, well I did, I didn't kind of, I started my own small business. Um, it's at Click Culture Co. on Instagram. You can go to my website in the bio. And that's been taking a lot, a lot of my time making reels and doing all that stuff but I will do my best to put more videos on here. I really miss it and I want to come back to YouTube um, and just put more videos because I haven't done it in a while and so I will get better at that. Thank you for caring about my toothless. It means a lot. Good night everybody. It's literally